What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the Karmic Circuits. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this your first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Here, over here, over here, at the Karmic Circus, I need you to purchase your ticket, okay? You can purchase your ticket by hitting that thumbs up to find out what's going on. How are the karmic energies attacking the divine feminines and the divine masculine? I had forgot all about that, but now I'm going to bring y'all up in here too. Now, divine feminine... You can purchase your ticket by subscribing to my channel and just go on. And when you're on your way to that, to that concession stand, hit that thumbs up button for me. Okay. Go on and get me something to drink while you're over there. I take a Pepsi. All right. They're usually selling Pepsi and Coke at the confession stand. Okay. So I, I need you to hit the, to, to bring back a, a nice cold crispy Coca-Cola. And also on your way, give me some popcorn and give me a hot dog. So we can watch this show. Okay. Now, these karmics, they're not apologizing to me for the shit they did. Okay. I'm letting you know. They're not going to apologize. Okay. They're not going to apologize because it's something with the courts that then went on. And apparently you won or they lost and they mad. Okay. Some of you divine feminines is dealing with the man. Who thinks he knows every goddamn thing? You can't tell this motherfucker shit. And yes, I do cuss, okay? You can't tell him nothing. Alright? This person may be a little older than you. Probably about five or six years older than you, but they act like they 90 and they done been they done traveled the world, they done been there and done that. So when you have a conversation with them, a lot of times this person is just looking at you like like they, like they bored with what you're saying. They're a clown. Okay. And for some of you, you're married to this clown. Okay. It could be your divine masculine who you can't tell shit. And you didn't expect this because you thought by them being a divine masculine, no, they can, they can, they could be a clown too. They could be then slept with the karmic energy and, and holding the energy. And yes, some of you, this is your main man that you didn't expect to be acting like this. You didn't expect hell. Well, I guess some of the divine masculine has been going inside that fucking karmic circus tent too. Because they've laid down with the clown. So, yep, that's what the fuck came out. You want the main female. You know now that this the divine masculine has laid down with the karmic. A divine masculine is in a karmic energy, okay? Because they didn't, they didn't, they. I guess they bought tickets to the circus and they didn't want to leave. Okay, show me, spirit. Sudden wealth. Somebody is sick and they're not saying nothing. Somebody is some chaos and conflict out here. And there's a lot of spying going on because uh, somebody got some money. And maybe they're not telling nobody that they got some money. They got some sudden wealth. Okay, and you being the main female divine feminine, you found out you ain't the main female. Which brought some sort of chaos and conflict into your life. From this fucking clown. And the universe don't like it. The universe don't like them. So they're giving them a sickness. But they're not telling you. This person is sick. And they're not saying nothing. You got some money. And you ain't saying nothing. Because you found out. That you wasn't the main female. And it was a bunch of chaos and conflict. You realized that this was a third party situation. Okay. 
See, this is you right here. This is you. This is you, the Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You see them three birds? You see, this is a third-party situation that's going on. You see that triangle? He could be calling these two. He looking for you, right? But they looking for him. You, you already, you done got past all this shit. Okay, you're not in this chaos and conflict, this fucking circus shit. You're not in this. Because you know that you wasn't the main female. Okay? This was in reverse. You're not the main female, and this was the chaos and conflict that you got yourself out of. Divine, feminine. Okay? And see, the crazy thing, you being a, a divine feminine, you got your own money. You got your own resources, you got your own money, you got your own business, you got your own house, you got your own car. It may not be no brand new house, it may not be a brand new car, but you got your riches. You're abundant, okay? And you don't need to be going through this bullshit that somebody trying to take you through. If you're not the main person, like, yeah, man, fuck this, why I'm not here? And the universe don't like it either. So why this person tried to put you in a third party, they didn't got sick from one of these. One of these two that made them sick. Okay? You free. You're not, you're not in that shit. See, they're in the hospital, but they ain't telling it. They're not going to tell that the universe then. Now, they don't have to be uh, physically sick. They could be then got a, a, a spiritually transmitted disease. That's a STD too. They could have got a sexually transmitted demon. I call a demon. Okay? Whatever it is they got, they sick and they ain't telling you. Maybe they sick and they don't know. Maybe they can't get an erection. And they saying they sick. That could be their sickness that they keep in secret that they not telling. So they could be sick. If it's a man, he may may not be able to get it up now. The universe may have then took his ego away. He may not be able to get it up. That's karma. They're in that circus tent. Now that could be your divine masculine who then stepped over and went up in that circus tent. And then got stuck and has been demoted. From a divine masculine to a karmic. Okay. You see. This could be you. This could be an older per older person. Older woman. There's a community out here. And here's a message. So. The overall energy is you realize that you are not the main female in the divine masculine's life. I won't even say it's a divine masculine in your masculine's life. Karmic life now. And this person may be trying to message you But they, they could be trying to call you right now. They could be spying on you, calling you from, from um, unlisted numbers, block numbers. But you may know that this person is calling you from the other numbers. You're, you're being mature about it. You are being mature. You hear somebody's ex.
the ex is here and not talking. Maybe she's not, she's, this person could be trying, she could, this could be your person's ex. This could be one of these two trying to contact your person. A message of concern. Now, this message could be that this ex could have a spiritually or sexually transmitted disease. That she didn't tell your person. Or maybe she didn't get to tell your person. Maybe they slept together and, and she found out she got something. Or he found out he got something. And he's sick and not telling. Or she's sick and not telling. This is somebody's ex. She ain't saying nothing. Maybe somebody is sick and they ain't got the message. They don't know that they're sick. Okay, somebody's ex or somebody's ex out here who's sick and they know they sick and they not telling motherfuckers and the universe don't like it this this is a female energy she's a karmic yes yeah, she need to be in this tent maybe somebody she tried to tell that she she's infected other people she's not telling she's infected and the spirit is not your ancestors is not liking this she ain't telling nobody that she's infected with something she keeping that shit to herself and it, it is a message of concern that she's not telling people This is a very immature, immature female. Here's a courtship out here, relationship. Anybody that sleep with her is not having no good luck. So if it's not a sexually transmitted disease that this person has, somebody's ex is a spiritually transmitted disease. And this person could be sick in their head, sick in their mind, spiritually sick, um, mentally sick, and they not telling. What, baby? This is my duchess. What? You want to go out? Hold on. Come on. Y'all hold on. I got to go put my duchy out. Hold on. Sorry about that. I have a bunch of cats. And they're all from the same mother. She's had three litters. So I have a bunch of cats. And yes, they're very spiritual. Yes, they can see ghosts. And yes, they can see spirits. Yes, they protect you from ghosts and spirits. Yes, they do. So, this is somebody's ex out here. It's good that you found out that you're not the main female because somebody done got sick. You see, you're not the main female. Mm-hmm. Let me put a little signs here to see what some of these zodiac signs are. I'm gonna use these erotic fantasy, which I've only used one time because I don't read tarot. So, okay, Holy Spirit, show me the sign of this person who's going around spreading the disease and not telling them. They causing all kinds of chaos. They don't care about being a third party. So this person is like they'll they'll uh they'll sleep with your person and they don't care because they got a, some sort of disease or something. They don't care. They don't care. 
Okay. They're after money. Okay, spirit. Show me the energy of this person. Show me the sign of this person who's spreading this, this disease or who has a sexually transmitted disease. Whoever this person is, she knows how to tame the wildest animal. I guess she's a Leo. This could be a Leo energy. Okay. This woman is very, like, calming and soothing to the most wildest type of men. She knows how to calm them down. And maybe collective, you know this. You know now you're not the main female. Okay. Tell me more about this energy of this person. Who's spreading disease? Yeah, she's going. She's going around. Um, she's spreading this shit. She's a fire sign. This is a fire sign female who likes sex, and she then contacted some sort of. I, I said a spiritually transmitted disease. For some of you, it's a sexually transmitted disease. Because she don't mind being in third parties. She don't mind having unprotected sex. And so for some of you, this this female will lay down with a dog. She will fuck a horse. She will she's into bestiology. If that's how it is is that bestiality? I don't even know about that shit, but she a fucking animal. Okay. And this could be how she got sick fucking nasty animals and shit and then giving it to humans Ugh. universe don't like this person Ugh. tell me more about this spirit this is a demon she's going around breaking people's hearts going around stabbing people in the hearts Because her heart was broken. So what she's doing, somebody gave her something. So she's mad at that person. So she's giving it to everybody. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, she don't mind being a third party. She don't mind that shit. And whatever this sickness is that she has, she done lost a lot of money having to pay for the medication. Wow. She's broken hearted. But see, right now, at the current moment, she could have just found out that she got some shit. She ain't saying nothing. She's broken hearted. And this is a fire sign energy. She could be a fire sign or she could be an earth sign. But I more or less feel like she's a Leo energy.
This female, yeah, she's a fire sign. She's Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And she's going through a battle herself right now. She may have people coming at her to confront her about this disease. Okay? She may have up to five people coming to confront her about a disease. Look how her ass is out. Because she giving shit away. Now, some of you, this person could, could uh, be and started a lot of fights and shit. Or her person could have got into it a lot of fights behind it and she's trying to calm him down. Because of the shit that she done did. But see, that's karma for both of them because... If he cheating and she cheating, he cheated with her and she didn't gave him some shit. Now either he's getting his ass whipped or they're both getting their ass whooped. Mm-hmm. Because they try to be sneaky and try to get away with some shit. Yeah. Now this could be, this is the, the baby mama. She try to be, She's trying to be sneaky. This karmic energy who's in the tent. She's, she's, um, she not getting away with something. She tried to be get away with some shit. This is Seven of Swords. She tried to get away, but she couldn't. She was being deceptive. Having unprotected, unprotective sex. Having a lot of unprotected sex. She was walking around with a fiery stick. Some of you, this could be a, a uh, transvestite that's doing this. I just got a, a, a cold chill, just a spirit in here, cold feeling. So this, this, this child's mama, this baby mama, somebody's karmic baby mama. Is going around burning motherfuckers. Probably with some shit that they can't get rid of because her heart is broken. So fellas, you better be careful out here because it's a female energy out here. Somebody's baby mama know they sick and they don't care about being a third party. They don't care about coming in between the relationship. They'll come in and break up a relationship by giving a man a disease. Mm -hmm. Being sneaky, trying to get away with it. But this person is not having no good luck. And they all out in the community. Spying on people. But you collective. You you got away. You got out of that. You ain't in this shit no more. So I don't believe that you got infected. You left this person alone. When they, they went and messed with this person on you. And you ain't fooled with them since. But they got something. Somebody could also be like spying on you online. They could be watching you. They could be getting tarot readings on you. Because you you chose you chose yourself to come out of this chaos and conflict. You letting them go through that maze they self. And see how this person is looking? She walking around with that torch like she burning motherfuckers. And looking back, like, who else I'm going to burn? Who else can I get away with burning, motherfuckers? Mm-hmm. She fighting. She may, she may be fighting these motherfuckers off now. She could either be, this could either be somebody fighting people off sexually or she could be fighting them off because she didn't gave them some sexually, okay? And this is her right here. Like, look at all of these dicks I got. But see, she was looking like she was fighting them, but 
She really ain't. She just defending herself. And somebody got her. Somebody got her. Mm-hmm. She tried to cover it up, but she can't cover up the fact that she was a hoe. Now she want to put a little something to cover. You can't cover it now. You done set too many motherfuckers on fire. Mm-hmm. And she's immature. And a lot of these people she was dealing with, they ain't got no more money. She burnt them. She took their money. But she ain't having no good luck. None. She's somebody rare. See, when people meet her, they believe that she's the best thing that ever happened to them. Oh, she was the best thing that I've ever had. This is how she made people feel. They get all off in relationships with her. They start spending money on her. They lose it. Then they, they, they she's always a third party. This is the person's, their main person is up here. But see, she don't mind being a third party. She don't mind that shit. Mm -hmm. She feels like she's a, a, she feels she's a free spirit. She'll fuck anybody. That's just how she is. And I'm sorry, fellas, if you got a child with this person, if this is your energy, you need to throw her ass in that karmic tent and leave her there. All right. I'm going to stop it right there. If this resonated with you, don't forget to, to buy your tickets and hit that thumbs up button. That's how you purchase the tickets to get to the Karmic Circus. Now you're leaving the tar Karmic Circus. I need you to hit that subscribe button on the way out. And I'm going to play you some circus music so you can hit them thumbs up while you're, while you're leaving. Okay? That's what I need you to do. So I'm going to play that. I'm going to play you some happy music. So before you leave, you hit that thumbs up for me. All right? Do that for me, collective. Now, as you're leaving the tent, please hit that thumbs up button on the way out. Hit that, hit that uh, subscribe button on the way out. Throw your popcorn in the trash or you can take it home with you. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope I... Uh, helped you in some sort of way and again if this is your baby mama I pity the fool <laughs>